Hello, everybody. Getting started with Web Design Visual Studio Mac 2019-2020 for HTML and CSS. Before you start, guide. Visual Studio offers the best tools for small and big businesses to grow and everything is open source. The best part is it's mostly free and they're very robust, safe, stable, powerful tools. Before you embark on your journey using Visual Studio 2020 and 2019, these are the pains you will experience and I'll teach you how to fix these problems. Visual Studio on Mac, as of today, the latest version, January 2021, will not display IntelliSense for CSS classes. So if you are trying Visual Studio, you will be going on a hard road up on the Mac side. On the Windows side, everything seems to be working perfectly well. Here's the solution to this problem and a bonus four tools that are gonna help you get the results you want for your websites and web apps ultra fast and professional. First, we need to use Visual Studio Code on Mac and in order to design and build websites using the ultra powerful and free Microsoft tech, we need to follow the Microsoft official guide on opening a web app project on Visual Studio Code. So I will open up, share my screen and show you guys how it's done. Okay guys, so here we're going to navigate to Microsoft ASP.NET Core getting started. Okay guys. So here we are. And this guide is not for, yeah, this is the guide. We're good. Yep. Okay, guys, I'm back. Definitely. Okay. Getting started with ASP.NET Core is a great tutorial. You can follow it. It has key commands that are working on Mac. But the catch with this tutorial is that it's 2020. So it's a bit dated. Also, the problem with this tutorial is that it's not gonna teach you how to do MVC. It's not going to teach you how to make MVC complete websites. So that's a, a detail there. If you guys are just going for a landing page, this is your tutorial. If you guys are going for a full web app, this is your tutorial. It's a little bit more up to date. And uh, the only problem here is that when you go the Visual Studio Code route, you will encounter issues here. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. I'm going to open Visual Studio Code. And we're gonna open a brand new project. Okay guys, so we're here in Visual Studio Code. And this is what we're gonna do. First of all, we have to run this code here net new MVC. This is the code we have to run. I'm gonna put both screens side by side so we can understand what's happening. Okay guys, so there might be a problem if you're doing this brand new, you still have to install Visual Studio and ASP.NET Core just so you guys are up to date and don't have any problems. So, once you install Visual Studio, then install Visual Studio Code because you're gonna need the .NET SDK. That's very important, guys. So 
Here we go. Um, we're gonna run .net new. First of all, we gotta we gotta do this thing. We gotta we have to go to cd projects because we want to put our project inside our projects folder. So this is change directory to our projects folder. So now we're in the projects folder, as you guys can see in the terminal, you gotta get used to using the terminal. There's tons of YouTube tutorials on doing that. Okay, so we're in the projects and then we're going to do, wanna, we're gonna make a file, an empty folder, and we're gonna call it our first ASP, in this case, we're running the latest version of ASP.NET Core, which is just called .NET 5. So we're gonna call it .NET 5. First .NET 5 project. So we're gonna call it that. Now we run it. And now we have that in our directory. So now we're gonna change directory and we're gonna go to first .NET 5 project. So now we're inside the first net five project. And here guys, we're gonna then execute these instructions that Microsoft tells us to run. We're gonna use .NET. .NET is the code that we're gonna use always. And remember guys, we're doing this because we want to be able to use CSS with IntelliSense and be able to have CSS code snippets because we wanna style our stuff. We wanna style our, our our app and stuff. So our website and everything, and we want to style it in the best way possible, right? In the most professional way. And this is the most professional way, hands down. Okay. So .NET new MVC, and we're going to go and name it MVC first net five. And there we go. The template ASP.NET Core web app view controller was created successfully. Contains technologies from parties other than Microsoft, blah, 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 processing post creation actions, running .NET restore on MVC, blah, blah, blah. Determining projects to restore, blah, blah, blah. So guys, making a summary again for you guys, if you guys forget, best way to get here is you first download Visual Studio and you add the ASP.NET Core extensions. That includes .NET 5. And that way you're gonna be able to make web apps using Microsoft's iconic technology. Okay, so now that we're inside our first .NET 5 project and we have it already there in the folder and everything, we're gonna go ahead and run it because we need to debug and stuff. And if you guys need to debug, there's always this important key over here on the Mac. First of all, guys, if you need to get a new terminal or split the terminal, this is the way. And uh, if you guys need to see where the terminal's at, you're gonna be able to do that here. And there's a, here are the shortcuts for all of that stuff. That's very important because you're gonna be running everything in the terminal in Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code seems like it's less than Visual Studio, but it's actually easier and faster and even more powerful in, in many things. So there's not that much of a trade-off when you're going the Visual Studio Code, the VS Code route. So we're gonna do .NET run. And there's only one project in the file, but it doesn't understand. So we're gonna give it the name .NET run, and let's give it the project name. It's gonna be run MVC first .NET five, and Sorry guys, I forgot. 
I'm gonna fix this super fast. Be right back. We're gonna hit .NET run and this is how it goes. And that's it. All you gotta do is remember you have to be in the same file as your project. So now we're gonna be able to run this project of web app. It's a web app, a full-fledged web app with everything. We're gonna be able to run it real fast, real good. Here we go. Let's just click here and here's our web app. It's running, MBC first net five. Everything's running ship shape. And guys, if you need to get the files from your project, all you gotta do is you go to files and obviously we gotta be here in Visual Studio Code. You open your files in Finder and you just do the following. You just drag, here's my MVC file, drag it and drop it here. One second guys, give me a second. So guys, here's how we debug we are able to have our breakpoints and everything. And if we press F5, we're gonna have all the bells and whistles that we have in Visual Studio stepping to at least like more than 60% of them. And they're very powerful and useful. You're gonna get the most useful of Visual Studio for free. And they're not gonna charge you a dime. So it's one heck of a great deal. So, okay guys, I just had to remove that folder from my workspace. And now again, you just find the project you just created in the console. We created it in the projects folder. We go to the name that we created, FirstNet5 project, so on and so forth. And then we just drag the file and drop it here. Do you want to save your workspace configuration and file? Yes, sir. Okay. And here we are. It looks just like Visual Studio. We have our root, we have our views. Here we're gonna be able to require asset debug. Yes, we have debugging. We have all the powerful tools that we have in Visual Studio right here in Visual Studio code. So let's see our layout. And here's our layout. And for this part, I'm not gonna need the Internet Explorer anymore. We're just gonna be here. So here's our code right out of the box. This is our layout. This is the main page of our website. This is the stuff that we just saw right here. This is our website. If we wanna change this, we can do so. There are extensions you are going to love and cherish for the rest of your life. And one of them is HTML CSS support. CSS intelligence for HTML. This is one of the goodies that are gonna allow you to see the CSS classes in Bootstrap and other CSS libraries. Intelligence for CSS class names, HTML. You can download this stuff here, guys you will not regret it. I haven't regretted it as of today. HTML class suggestions, adds code completion suggestions for HTML class attributes, blah, blah, blah. So as you can see guys, this is how you get the stuff that you need. You just type it here, HTML. You go to this icon here and you put HTML, CSS, and there you go. And then you click on one of these and you just hit install and you're ready to go. And how do you use these things? You might ask, very simple. Let's go here to layout. And here, when we are inside one of the tags, we hit class and now, oh no, we don't have CSS tags. What can we do about it? Just click control. Just it's eight o'clock. Control space. And there you have it all your beautiful CSS classes.
ready to mingle. So have no fear, your date is saved. And as you can see, it's all the 5,000 CSS bootstrap classes that are available pre-built in ASP.NET Core. Thank me later. This video is brought to you by so-and-so. Don't forget to click so-and-so on the description. And guys, leave a comment below and tell me if this video was useful. If you have any questions, I will answer as much as possible and help you out during this guy. So take care guys. Have a great day. I hope this was super useful for web design and web development in ASP.NET Core using Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. CSS, IntelliSense, bug fixed. Boom, baby. As of now, this is the only walk around. There's no other walk around to get CSS IntelliSense in Visual Studio for a Mac. There you have it, baby. Have an awesome day. So guys, if you have any questions, let me know. See ya.